That's crazy. Let's bring it back one more time. What up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So look, I wanna send a special shout out to all the new subscribers. We got a gang of new subscribers, man, and I really, really appreciate all you guys who clicked on uh, and left a comment, man. I tried to respond to all the comments. If I didn't, I'll get to it, but I really, really appreciate you guys, for real, for real. But if you're new here, my name is Amir Perry. I'm a producer, artist, and an engineer. I would love for you to subscribe and ride with me on this journey as well. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can get an alert every time a new video is uploaded all right so look today i got this r&b sample that i've been wanting to sample for a while i remember i heard another artist sample it and i thought maybe i just wouldn't bother it because of that but now i'ma pull it in pro tools and i'm gonna do my own thing and see if we can cook up some dope so let's get right into it all right so at first i want to play the sample that i got for you guys Most of you guys are gonna know what that is, but if you don't, it's uh, Tevin Campbell, uh, Can We Talk? But I actually wanna take, so I got this pretty much, that's gonna be the meat of the beat, but I wanna take a piece of that and see if we can chop it up and come up with something just for like the verse part. So let's go ahead and let's mess with it. So here's what I came up with for that verse part. All right, so just something simple, something that's going to, you know, have a little bit of bounce to it. But um, I want to go ahead. I want to add a, a bass on top of this before we even get started. I, I can already tell you it's not going to be a whole lot we're going to add on this. Uh, the drums is going to do. I, I got an idea about doing something crazy with the drums, but let's go ahead. Let's add that bass. All right, so I got this bass sound. This bass sound is out of vacuum. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually doing to the bass because I just added some uh, some effects to it. So it this is how it sounds without the effects. And it's basically like a um, like a saw lead. It's, it's basically like a saw lead. Uh, but what I found with saw leads, they're, they're dope to make basses out of. It's something about that growl at the top and the high end. But what I'm doing on it is I got, um, this is the DigiDesign Lo-Fi plugin, and I just got the saturation turned to 7.2. That's what it sounds like uh without the next plugin. Uh, the next plugin, I just got uh, EQ. This is just a one band EQ and it's rolling off a lot of that high end. It sounds like this. So just to take some of that, that, that high end uh, off of it and for it to sit in the mix better. Uh, so, you know, you don't always have to start with the perfect bass sound. Uh, you can experiment with that. Get a get a like a saw lead, add some saturation or add some distortion to it, and then cut the top end off. It, it makes a crazy, crazy dope low sounding bass that'll give you that rumble underneath. But let's go ahead, let's add that bass. <laughs>
So let's clean up that first part and then I, we need to figure out something we could do there. cool let's uh let's quantize that all right so that's pretty much gonna be our foundation let's go ahead let's get crazy let's do something crazy with the drums dun, 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 dun. All right, so I got this brass stab uh, that I'm going to put on the one that sounds like this. But we're going to add some delay to it to give it some room like this. Yeah, yeah. It's coming together. So we're gonna add this vocal sample. It's like a New Orleans bounce. If you haven't peeped yet, this is kinda gonna have like a New Orleans bounce to it, but let's place this where it needs to go. All right, let's add a clap for some bounce, just to give it a little bounce. I actually think we might do it just every eight bars. Let's see. Okay, cool. All right, let's add a head in here. Let's see. Put on ace. That's simple. Keep it simple. You got to do nothing too crazy. All right, let's listen.
Yeah. <laughs> we definitely got that bounce. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you know I'm usually uh, playing my sounds from battery uh, into Pro Tools, but I'm deliberately programming on the grid and Pro Tools to show you that you don't really need or have to have a MIDI keyboard to go in here and program, especially your drums. You can put them right on the grid and you can just place them where you want to. Now, Pro Tools does have, uh, if you're not familiar with it, it has a little MIDI keyboard you can play and you can actually play the notes from there, but you can actually just Pull your drums in Pro Tools, import them in Pro Tools, and just put them on the grid. So that's why I'm doing this. Sometimes it's just quicker that way. Sometimes I just, it all depends on my mood or how I'm feeling. If I don't really want to load them or I just got some samples and I just want to get to work super fast without going in the battery and loading them. Even though it's not, you know, it doesn't take away a whole bunch of time, but it's just a preference thing. Anyway, we got a pretty good foundation, but I want to keep on adding, so let's just keep on working. I got this cowbell. So it's this drum I always hear in like New Orleans style beat. So it's beats that had that bounce is like. I always hear that in all the beats. So let's let's add that. Let's see. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let's do triplet. Let's see. Yeah, dun 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 dun. Let's see. So I got this dope New Orleans DJ sample I just imported. I'm going to play it for you. Let's just hear what it sounds like with, with everything we got. Let's see. Man, this is so crazy. This is crazy. This is turning out super dope, super dope. All right, so I want to add a scratch. It's something about scratches, man. Scratches just kind of, it's, it's, they so dope for a turnaround. People used to use scratches all in their beats all the time. They kind of got away from it now, but you, you still hear them, but not as often as you used to. See? Chuka chuka chuka. Let's see. That's too loud. Let's, let's listen. Let's see. Perfect. Perfect. So I got this one last DJ vocal uh, that I added. Is this? Two and two and two and two and two and for your DJ. Super dope, uh, but that's going to just bring in the whole song, but this is pretty much it. This is, it's not a whole lot more I want to add to it. I may go in there and add something to the verse part, maybe. I, I doubt it though, but let's go ahead. Let's, let's just give it one good listen from the top. That's crazy. Let's bring it back one more time.
so it turned out pretty dope but as always i want to know what did you guys think because i'm just me i'm in here just making a beat by myself so i don't know if it's hot or if it's not but i would love to know what you guys think don't forget to drop a comment below and let me know also don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me and if you hated it you can hit the thumbs down twice all right i'll catch you guys on the next one arrivederci